Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and for this video I'm going to be talking about 12 Days of Terror so this is a killer shark film that was based on an actual recorded case from 1916 in which a killer shark staked a claim off of a beach and kept attacking people during the height of summer so this is what inspired Peter Benchley when he wrote Jaws. So it's kind of the story that inspired the movie. And this is a movie that that re, re, recreates that kind of recorded case, if that makes sense. So this takes place, the, the main character is a lifeguard on the beach who sees a swimmer get in trouble, swims out and sees that he has like his leg bitten off. So he's, he, he brings him back to shore, but unfortunately the, that person dies. And they, he sort of said, oh, it's, you know, it's a shark attack, we've got a shark in the waters, but, but the mayor and his associates are like, well, how do you know it's a shark? And back then it was kind of like considered almost scientifically impossible that a shark would attack people for whatever reason. So they keep the beaches open and then more people are attacked, more people are killed. The lifeguard wants to close the beaches, but the, the, the powers that be want to keep it open because it's the height of summer and, and they want to they wanna be successful financially. So in the end, the, the lifeguard and a like sea captain, shark hunter type person go out to to catch the shark and they also throw in an extra an extra character who's like a big game hunter and he's there on the island to try and catch the shark too so it, it was a good film i enjoyed this film but it was just too similar to jaws for my liking everything down to the kind of the political side of it in not wanting to close the beach the characters were the same. It wasn't a police chief, but it was a lifeguard. And then they throw in a shark hunter. There's a shark expert in there as well. So it was just very, very similar to Jaws. And to defend the film a little bit, they were retelling the events that inspired Jaws. So of course it's going to be similar in storyline. But I just thought maybe it would have been better to change things a little bit because what's the point? What was the point of redoing Jaws, which was such an iconic movie, it's, it was just a bit too similar for me. A couple of other things I didn't like too much. I wasn't keen on the main the main character, the lifeguard guy. He was just a bit... didn't really buy into him all that much. Same goes for the rest of the characters, really. They were kind of just a little bit wooden, a little bit cardboardy. I never invested in them or the town like I did in Jaws. But there were some good things in this. I did like the use of the practical effects. There was like a practical shark that, that they used in the water. And there's some great scenes of it, like biting victims' legs and sort of pulling them down, which was, which was good. You never quite get as much shark action as what you do in Jaws or other shark films for that matter. But, uh, but it was, it was pretty decent. It's, it's, it's played straight as well. There's nothing really campy about this film, and I'm not sure whether that helps it or not, because films that came after Jaws did have a degree of campiness to them, which I think kind of helps, because, you know, they, they know they've come after Jaws, so, you know, what, kind of, what can you do, really, but just kind of go a bit lighter, I guess, in terms of, uh, in terms of story. But this one kind of plays it, plays it serious. So, yeah, overall, it, it was a good film, but for me, it was just too similar to Jaws and therefore somewhat, somewhat pointless because it's, it's all been done. But if you like shark films, I definitely recommend it because it does have some good moments. It has some good scenes and it is one of the better, certainly one of the better shark movies in terms of the way it's made and, and filmmaking, that kind of thing. I, I can't knock it for for the, the effects and things like that. It was also interesting to see it set in 1916, which was obviously a long time ago, but most of these kind of movies are very, very modern and feature like a, a fresh young cast of 
party going teenagers and that kind of thing but this this had a bit more of, of like that vintage look because of when it was set so that was a bit different i enjoyed it for that so yeah overall it's an okay movie nothing special but if you like shark movies i do recommend it so thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos